viewers welcome back to my youtube channel for those who are new to my channel my name is marietta or you can call me marie whatever name but among the two not any other name so on today's video i want to explain into details about endometriosis so that most of you can get to know what i mean by endometriosis so i'll define endometriosis the stages of endometriosis the the types of endometriosis that we have signs and symptoms and at least the, the treatment of endometriosis so stay tuned and i'm going to define what endometriosis is so for those who don't know endometriosis happens when tissue that are similar to the ones that lines the uterus grows outside the uterus okay so this endometriosis i've said it is whereby tissue that are similar to the ones that are lining the uterus grows where outside the uterus and um we have types of endometriosis that are we have three types of endometriosis number one being superficial yeah so this is most common kind you have lesions on your operation a thin film that lines your pelvic so this is a thin film that lines your pelvic cavity and to be precise i want to i want to define the term lesions the way they have said there so lesions is a region in an organ that is uh, that has suffered damage either through injury or disease okay so that is the term lesions lesions l a s i a n okay no it is l a s i o n not the, the way i had said earlier sorry for that and uh, we have stage type 2 actually i don't know why i'm confusing between stage and type so type 2 we have the endometrioma and the endometrioma is where by the chocolate like cyst are uh, they are they are growing inside your ovaries deep in your ovaries and uh, also affect your fallopian tube that is type number two and now type number three we have deep infiltrating endometriosis and the word deep it means it has damaged a lot of parts a lot of percentage of your female reproductive organs have been damaged so so this type affects mostly your female reproductive organs and any organ that is around your uterus okay that is why it is called deep infiltrating endometriosis yeah that is those are the types the three types of endometriosis that are there and uh, we have signs and symptoms of endometriosis so symptoms are so many we have back pains during menses we have severe cramping we have lower lower abdominal pain yes unusual bleeding or heavy bleeding diarrhea or constipation blood in your stool or urine fatigue that won't go away infertility or trouble getting pregnant and the last one we also have painful sex okay those are the signs and symptoms of endometriosis that are there and uh, we have stages of endometriosis we have four main stages of endometriosis stage number one it is called minimal stage so this stage just as the one the word minimal means it means you have few or small lesions but no scar tissue okay and i had I, I, I defined earlier lesions these are regions or organ that has suffered damage either through injury or disease okay the lesions so stage uh, stage number two we have the mild stage so remember the stage number one is minimal stage number two now we have the mild stage so this is uh this is where more lesions but no scar so we have at least more lesions or uh, yeah we have more lesions with no scar so in the the first one we had less lesions 
Now in the second we have more lesions but no scar. The first one was lesions also but no scar. So the second one is more than the first one, okay? But it has no scar. So stage number three we have moderate. So moderate is whereby the lesions might be deep. You may have endometriomas and scarce tissue around your ovaries. So just like stage two, or just like type two of endometriosis. So we have endometrioma there. And now in uh, stage number three here, it is where endometri endometrioma is mentioned. So here is whereby more, the most affected part are your ovaries and fallopian tubes and now we have scars yes yeah, scars are visible there because it has affected the scars in your uh the it has affected your ovary and now the fallopian tube why it, that is why it is called moderate moderate sorry for that so stage number four we have the severe stage just like type three of endometriosis that is deep infiltrating endometriosis so severe means these are many lesions and large cysts in your ovaries they are now large in size and um, they have affected your ovaries and they have scars and tissues around them so these are large cysts in your ovaries and have scars tissue okay around ovaries and fallopian tubes and uterus and lower part of your intestines so the severe stage it means it has affected most of your reproductive organs and any other organ that is around your uterus and that is the intestines okay the lower part of the intestine and also when it is not treated it spreads further okay yeah so um, those are the stages of endometriosis which we have said there for sorry for that and now we have the endometriosis diagnosis yeah this is where the doctor does an examination on your uter on your uterus actually so you the doctor will do a pelvic examination yeah to feel if you have cysts or scars behind your uterus mm -hmm. you will be sent again to do a scan or an mri for the doctor to see if you really have this condition and uh, if the doctor finds out you have this condition and uh, it is manageable, you can take medicines to manage it. But when it is severe, when it is in stage two and uh, when it is in stage three and in stage four, there is no option. You have to undergo surgery. And uh, the process of that surgery, it is called laparoscopy, whereby the doctor will uh, dig some holes in your tummy yeah in the both sides of your ovary and another one in your belly button so the ones the the ones that are on your sides of your ovaries those are the machines to remove the cysts that are on your ovaries inside your ovaries actually and on your fallopian tube and now the one that is in your belly button it is a camera that is put there so that the doctor can see in the screen how far the cysts are okay and to to assist the doctor in, op in doing the operation on you okay so the laparoscopy operation is not it is not uh it is not that serious yeah because it is a one day thing you be operated and you go home yeah some other doctors because they don't have the machines to use they will end up cutting you and removing them but those are the the doctors who are not serious 
they will end up damaging other organs because you see ovaries are delicate things okay and when uh, somebody damages them you end up losing everything so you have to be wise you choose a nice hospital for you because um cheap is expensive so you better spend money you get treated well and you go home so after now the operation a doctor will conduct a bio biopsy so biopsy is whereby now the tissues that have been um, taken out of your ovaries will go for some testing so the doctors will do some testing on those tissue to see to see to confirm the diagnosis actually so once they take those tissues out of your ovaries or the fallopian tube the doctor will do a biopsy on them to see the cause and the diagnosis so that is all that i have known about endometriosis and i'm hoping to see you in the next one so stay tuned for the next vlog and kindly share my video yeah i wish i had uh, my I, w I wish I'd never lost my my memory card because whatever was uh, whatever that I went through during that process of laparoscopy, they recorded it and uh, they saved it in a in a what? How do we call it? They saved the video actually in a flash disk, and now Marietta lost the flash disk because. Um, I don't know what I was doing, but it got lost when I was moving. That is the back in 2019 when I was moving. Yeah, it is when the flash disk got lost. Yeah, so thank you for your time. Stay tuned for the next vlog. See you. Bye. Good night.